This is DNN. Definitely not news. I think 133. Hi. Sorry, I've uh, been gone a lot because my health has demanded that I rest more than I want to. Hopefully, since this is September now, we'll start doing things a little better. So I'd like to start off by saying thank you to my friends Jasper Teen and Polarix for making the music that I use, because I appreciate it. I really do. Couldn't make it myself if I tried. Don't forget, though, there are some benefits to subscribing. If you do, there will be some giveaways when I hit certain numbers. We'll see. Mostly board games that I find that are unusual. And now, on with some headlines that are ridiculous, and most of them are actually true. Which is kind of the sad part. 300-pound lineman takes up cross-country and made Michigan high school football delays. You know, I think he'll be happier with uh, cross-country. No one's going to break his arm just to get him to put down a ball. Woman sees Jesus' face in a potato and then eats it. So, maybe she shouldn't have looked. Does, does that count as kissing the guy? Or does that count as cannibalism? Hard to tell. FBI is worried that ring camera doorbells are spying on police. Why are they worried about it? The more cameras on cops, the better, because then they can't do something they're not supposed to. Two pythons weighing 100 pounds, is that both of them or one at a time, collapse a ceiling in Australia. Hmm, here's hoping they'd eaten before they found the people, otherwise the people might have some problems. Boris Johnson finds parents who keep their children out of school due on a pandemic. <sighs> the kids are already being expensive with uh, things like homeschooling and whatnot. Boris wants them to pay more money just because the people don't want their kids to get sick. I hope they vote him out. It's almost as dumb as the problem in the States. Which I will not name. Because it's kind of like Beetlejuice. You say it too many times it might appear and no one wants that. Chiang Mai Zoo blasted for letting a tourist fondle a tiger's balls for a photo. The tiger didn't seem to mind. Czech mayor writes letter calling a Chinese diplomat an unmannered and rude clown and to apologize for his pathetic lack oh pathetic diplomat F up. Hmm. Uh, Apparently they're just really mad at each other. Why this is headline news, I don't know. Because politicians acting like crybabies is nothing new. Jackie Chan's mansion seized by authorities as his ties to China's factional battles surface. You know what? If he can really do martial arts like he says he can, they should just film his battles. Maybe they'll make a movie or two out of that. Hampton teacher file, filling classrooms with photo cutouts of students and others. He's insisting he gets paid for teaching no one. BMW to make features like heated seats and heated uh, uh, steering wheels available, but only if you pay for, for a subscription for those services. BMWs are already really expensive. Is this kind of like saying, hey, how about we screw people over even more? Japanese city called Yamato has banned this, the, uh, the idea of smartphone walking. 
Are they going to put their, their phones on a leash and walk around town? Or is this the thing where they're walking and staring at their screens and falling into construction pits? I know which one I want it to be. Masseuse becomes an art teacher as COVID that destroys her income. Well, if she's working with clay, maybe the same skills can come in handy. McDonald's lost a court case that would have allowed it to deny its workers bathroom breaks, according to a court in the US and Australia. I mean, if you don't want the place to smell bad, you don't really want the uh, employees going potty in their own pants now, do you? Why is this an issue? America is running low on monkeys. I didn't know they had a need of them. Abraham Lurt, ooh, that's not a good one at all. I'm not reading that. Two, air two airline pilots report seeing a guy in a jetpack near their aircraft while approaching LAX runway. <sighs> okay. They do know that there's people actually trying out for the new Rocketeer, huh? Which is a movie, if you didn't know. Just look it up, you'll see. California District Attorney's in office instructs officers to determine if looters needed items before making arrests. That's not going to go well for anyone. These were all the headlines I could find that were worth mocking for now. I hope you had a good time listening to them, maybe a giggle or two. And, well, come back tomorrow. Maybe I'll be able to make you laugh with some more stuff. It depends on what we get. The dumber people are, the more I get to use. Have a good day out there, stay safe, and thank you for watching.